Well, we're here to collect mussels. Uh, the mussels are, will be used to um, analyze for contaminants of emerging concern. For example, uh, pharmaceuticals, personal care products, flame retardants, um, and a number of similar chemicals. Mussels are really good at uh, collecting pollution from the water. They filter uh, year-round. They're constantly filtering material out of the water and so they're collectors of pollution. Some of these contaminants are entering the ocean and the bay from um, sewage treatment systems, but there's also the possibility of storm drainage systems, there's the possibility of agricultural runoff, so there are many different kinds of land uses and that's one of the things that we're going to be looking at because in the 80 sampling sites that we're going to have in the state of California, we're trying to make sure that we have a number of each kind of land use, some in agriculture, some in urban, some near sewage outfalls, some near storm drainages, and that sort of thing. So if, you, if this muscle has contamination, it would be in the tissue. So we send these muscles alive in this form. Uh, we'll put them on ice. We're going to put them in um, blue ice containers. We're going to send those off via Federal Express. Uh, they will get there tomorrow, and um, they'll subdivide them and start having the subcontractors uh, do the analysis. Well, the next step would be to, to uh, determine if there are um, certain land uses that have more or less contamination. Uh, right now, we don't know that. All, all we have is very, very little information, and the muscles will be able to tell us once we have them analyzed uh, if we have certain land uses that are associated with certain higher levels of the various contaminants. And maybe some contaminants of a certain class might be higher with one land use. Uh, maybe another land use would have other contaminants that are uh, at higher levels. We won't know that until we get this survey done.